Um, you know, just the change. I mean, it's not really the change of pace, you know, but um, just getting acclimated to, to the speed once again. You know, like I've told everyone, I haven't played a spring ball since, you know, I mean, I didn't have no spring ball. I haven't played since December, you know. So coming out here that first week and, you know, the game's faster and, you know, I didn't know my plays like I should have, you know, because I've been fairly new, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all that leads to low confidence, you know what I'm saying? And when you have low confidence as a quarterback, you know, you start to overthink things and that makes everything ten times worse. And that's when that interception's thrown there and the interception's thrown there. So, you know, just, just knowing my plays really and having the confidence that I can, you know, that I know where this guy's going to be and I know my third receiver is and all that, you know, it's definitely definitely probably what's, what's been the turning point. For him. You know, when you recruited him, we knew that he uh, had the ability to run with the football. Uh, and now the question was, what could he do as a passer? And so we're exploring that. We're uh, getting there. And he made some good throws this morning and some this afternoon. Well, it's definitely the most important thing. You know, I, I strive every day, every day to be a better passer, you know, because uh, at the end of the day, I am a quarterback, you yeah. know. And, you know, to open up the to open up my run game, you know, if I'm more effective in the passing game, that makes me more effective on the run game, you know. So, you know, coming out here and taking you know, all the throws and all that seriously is definitely a big part of it because, you know, um, if you could throw and run and you could really throw, you know, there's a difference between guys that could throw a little bit and run and, you know, guys that could throw and run. And if you could really throw and run, then it puts so much pressure on the defense. It's, you know, it's amazing. It's like having 12 guys on the field, basically, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because now they have to respect, you know, that, that run that you can get six yards to carry on and they also got to respect the fact that you can come up, pull up, and you know, hit a deep ball for a big play. Or, you know, open up some lanes with the, you know, with the little scramble and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it definitely, uh, definitely helps. But definitely still trying to improve. You know, I still have a lot of room for improvement, and uh, I'm gonna keep working and keep getting better. He, he's he's not real tall, so he kind of hops, you know, to see. So when he's out moving, he doesn't have any worries about vision. He's got so, so it might well, seem like. I thought also maybe that. He's trying to learn this offense and pick it up and do that and this, but when he gets out there on his own, he's kind of freelancing. He might have a comfort zone. It might, it might be. You might be exactly right. Your your hypothesis is as good as mine. My opinion's good on this. You, you go with it. Run with <laughs> okay. it. Run with it. Oh yeah, you know I said we ran basically the same offense, running back to the right or left, you know, such as Oregon. But mm -hmm. you know it's definitely definitely made it easier. You know, like I said, uh, the terminology was a big difference for me. You know, we ran a lot of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? With a little, I mean, little different hitches and stuff in it. But the terminology was definitely the big part. Mm -hmm. For me, you know, uh, you know, having two years of, of you know repetition and of one play, and then coming right. here and they call it something completely different. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? It's you know it's kind of hard to pick up because you're trying to go back to old habits, you know. But I've thrown those pretty much away and to the side, and you know, um, and it's going pretty well for me. I mean, you know, like I say, it's anything to help the team. You know, they, I mean, they had me at F today, you know, catching balls, yeah, and yeah. running routes, you know. But like I told Coach when he when he recruited me, you know, I'll do whatever I can to get on the field and to help this team win. And if that's playing lineman, receiver, quarterback, whatever it is, you know, I'm going to give it my 100%, and I'm going to try to get on that field because I think I, you know, I think I bring some things to the table that can help this team win, and I think this is a special team, and I want to be a part of that. Your brother, a former Bruin, uh, how good does it feel to finally, you know, be able to come out here and put on uh, this, you know, same uniform he put on? It feels real good, and, you know. It's kind of a shocker, you know. I never, I never imagined myself being at a school like UCLA, you know, because. You know, previously, as we all know, it's pro-style offense. You know, I've always been a dual threat type of guy. You know, that he likes to use my legs. So, you know, I never envisioned it. You know, but uh, now that I'm here and I put on that blue and gold, you know, I smile and you know get a little smirk out of it. You know, I call him every night and tell him how crazy it is to be a Bruin. And I'm just trying to, you know, hold up. You know, what he what he gave. And I mean, he opened some doors for me, of course, probably. You know, what I'm saying so, trying to you know live up to what he's done and you know try to make my own path now because he's gone and now this now this could be my school. You know, what I'm saying so, definitely trying to do. Yeah.